Hey, 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 and welcome, welcome to Terry Messenger's Genius Zone. And, you know, this is the place and the space where you are going to get your own free masterclass absolutely free. Greetings. Greetings to you beautiful people. Those that are watching right now while I'm here live and those who are going to find because you know you are meant to find it. So I just want to give you a big warm welcome. And what do you think of this space? Melissa, what do you think of this space? <laughs> would you like to would you like me to put you on air? Give me a thumbs up if it's okay. <laughs> Hello beautiful lady. Hi. You are about to be on the biggest journey of your life. What do you think about this space? Oh, it's so regal and beautiful. It is amazing. Now, I am in the palace. I will say I am in the palace upstairs. Um, but, you know, every piece of this place is just a manifestation a miracle and you are going to absolutely love it. So congratulations for being one of the first people that have enrolled in our transformation retreat in June. So what's the most exciting thing that you're looking forward to? Um, just the whole ambience of the place, I think. Yeah. Like you say, Island of the Gods. So. The island of the gods it is, yes. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, right now we are in a space and time. This is, this is very, very lucrative, like opportune, because they are moving into ceremonial. Now, only once a year do the Balinese people actually move into what we call a silent stay. And that so happens to be in a new moon. And that's why I am going to share this wonderful world of not just miracles that can be made through our own subconscious minds, but through the energy of being in this place as well. So thank you so much. And do you know what you would like to manifest through this new moon? Melissa, do you have any, um, you know, aspirations of what you'd like to really, really be calling in? Yes, I just like to embody more of this new shift that I've discovered. Okay, so you've come a long way in a couple of very short sessions with me, right? very much like Sharon. So now that you've come so far, it's almost like, well, pinch me. So you're yeah. wanting to embody it. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Now, if you were to embody this new quantum leap that you've made, since you've been working with me in a very short time, can you explain to me what that would mean for your life and for everyone else uh, the question is number one what would you like to manifest under this new moon what miracle would you like to call in and number two what will it mean for your life so tell me about what it's going to mean for your life Melissa when you are really embodying it I think um yeah, just embodying everything that Soul Prosperity Codes was. Um, yeah, just uh, putting that in all aspects of my life and stopping any worry or, yeah, 
I want so to stopping, more stopping, stopping worry. So yeah. stopping worry is kind of telling the universe what you don't want, right? So here is a first lesson for everyone. What would it mean if you did stop worrying? So you want to embody everything we have created for your prosperity codes. Tell me one thing that's really obvious to you that has really changed dynamically since we've been working together. Um, I feel like uh, I am calling in more of my soul clients without even really trying at all. Oh my gosh, <laughs> boom, you're calling yeah. in your soul tribe. Is that all? Yeah. Like, imagine calling in your soul tribe. My goodness, guys. So Melissa is only beginning her journey. She's just really done a massive transformation and we we only really, you know, it's been such a short time. Like this time a month ago, it would have been different and you are already calling in your your soul tribe now that is excellent so now to embody it i guess that's going to mean um you know what your you know what your life is going to feel like as you're serving them what that's going to mean for your family what money you're going to bring in how that's going to feel in every you know cell of your body and you know i guess now if you have started calling in your soul tribe and that is something that you have already quantum leaped into what i'm about to teach you next in this visualization and you can never get to do this you know enough because this is the miracle quantum leap that we are going to be putting into our portal that's the paid portal and we're giving people a gift here for a very short time so are you ready to embrace it melissa absolutely Beautiful. All right. So let's now just bring you backstage. And how do you like this, guys? This is the manifestation that I have quantum leaped into for the biggest journey because I know that when people are quantum leaping, when they're creating magic, when people are shifting and really moving to the next level, I'm going to tell you what they don't do. I'm going to tell you what doesn't happen. They don't overthink how they're going to get there. Number two, they are not in a situation where they are trying to make their transformation happen. In fact, nine times out of ten, when I am creating this miracle with people to tap into their super conscious so they can have that quantum leap just like Melissa has, just like 3,000 other people, you know, just to name a few have, it doesn't happen because everybody overthought it. It happens because they were dedicated, they had faith in what they were doing whilst they were working with me. They opened up that space of their super conscious and became more aware, more consciously aware of what is actually working in their life and what is actually not working in their life. And what happens is in that quantum field, when we shift you from where you are now, whether that's in your prosperity, whether that is in the way you show up, whether that is in your health, whether that's in the way that you feel about yourself, it is going to have an impact on every single area of your life. So with no further ado, let's begin the segment of the new moon meditation. 
Okay, so now I would like everyone to firstly ensure that as you are here, that you are going to move into a relaxed space, that you are somewhere safe and you are also able to just relax to get the absolute best out of this. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of teaching to begin with, and that is that firstly, when you expand your consciousness, you are going to reach a level. This means that you are going to reach a level that you are not in at the moment. It's where you are making a shift because you are creating a new reality. And this new reality will come to you in the divine space of feeling so much more abundant in your joy, your peace, your money, your success. Does that make sense, guys? And I want to do a little bit of a, I guess, something that might really hit you between the eyes because this might shock you, but the things that you are struggling with you are supposed to be struggling with, especially if you come into this space of conscious shifting and expanding of your awareness, because what the universe, what the universal intelligence is really saying is, I'm giving you this problem. And this is the problem that I want you to learn more about. So for me, it is currently around wealth, right? It is around expanding the container of wealth and making sure I am a good steward of money. So what does that mean? That means me looking at what are the biggest problems in my life. Making money is not a problem for me. In fact, that comes easily. Money comes easily to me. The issue that the universe is really teaching me right now is how to hold that money, how to multiply that money, how to be a good steward of money. Now, let's just say that the biggest thing standing out for you in your life happens to be around your relationships and there's something you may be facing uh, more of a crisis in relationships or even in your health or in your career, right? Whatever area it is in your life, I want you to know that is the specific area that you are called to expand your conscious awareness because you are about to go on a journey where you are going to be able to call in that greatness. Now, you know, where we are in Bali right now, it just so happens that they are going into what they call a Nyepi day, which is a day of silence. That's going to be tomorrow. It's a very sacred day. It's where even the other gods of the island and the other cultures respect the Balinese and their culture in what they're doing. And so the whole of Bali closes down, even the airport. This means that Wi-Fi is turned off. This means that lights are not utilised. They do not eat. So they are literally fasting. Now, they are literally making a sacred intention to come before their God and bring their their troubles, right? They are bringing all of the things that are not working for them. So, you know, when in Rome, I say do what the Romans do, and I'm in Bali right now. So it's a new moon. We're going to go into a beautiful manifestation in, in just a while, but I feel that this preparation is a great teaching to prepare you. 
Now, on this day, which is going to happen in probably about 45 minutes, outside in the street, there is going to be a ceremony where they call it Uga Uga. Now, Uga Uga is where there are people coming out with masks, scary masks, and dancing. And it's like they are warding off all of the evil. They're releasing all of the negative energy. So how amazing is it for us to have this opportunity? I'm holding you in this frequency so you can have the, that, that opportunity to join under this new moon and decide and declare what you will quantum leap into. Now, I must say, I just want to remind everybody that this is for the portal of my paid group, so it will not be staying up. So if you happen to be fortunate enough to see this and it is still around, then I want to just give you a warning that it is not going to stay around. So please just be aware of that so you do understand. So my first piece of this teaching is going to come under a CREATE acronym. And the CREATE acronym is what you're going to create right now. And it's going to be based on the area of your life that you may see that is there might be a trouble. Uh, there, there's, there's issues that you're having to deal with. There's, there's things that are coming up that are actually like the maze that I call it. And the maze, what is a maze, you guys? A maze is, you know, designed to kind of take you on a zigzag to slow you down. And it is the exact opposite to a quantum leap, right? So what is your maze at the moment? What is it that's going on for you in your life? Because what we're going to do is we're going to bring in this practice. We're going to bring in something that is going to be the most powerful formula for you to be able to call in your creation. So the CREATE acronym is made up of the word CREATE. Let's create your quantum leap, okay? So you heard my beautiful client, friend and peer, Melissa, who's just started working with me, her life has quantum leaped and she just wants to embody it. A lot of people, you know, when they are leaping so fast, they almost get a little scared, especially if they've never done anything like this before, that it's not going to last or it's going to go back to the way it was. But here's the thing. When you quantum leap with me, you have made a change in that area and it ain't coming back. But I will warn you that at every new level, there is a new devil. So even though this is your new normal, Melissa requested that she would embody, embody all the things that she has changed. And I know health has been one of them. She mentioned that she's calling in her tribe right? What happens? What made that happen? Well, she obviously now has released something that has allowed her to be a magnet. Now, imagine if you can be a magnet to your tribe. And this is one of the reasons that I say, when you come into this space where I'm at, you get to really really understand how to become world-class, how to communicate, how to quantum leap and how to do the things I'm teaching. And I'm just giving you a snippet and it's going to be powerful. So create is number one. What are you going to create? Number two, what is going to be your new reality? That's the R. What is going to be your new reality? Because it's going to be different to before. Number three, by what end time, that's the E, will you have achieved this? Is it going to be this year, perhaps maybe later in the year? 
Maybe you might like to stipulate the month and the year because the universe is actually working outside of time. So it's really imperative, guys, that we get really crystal clear. Now, the fourth part is the A, which is you've got to embrace it like Melissa just asked for and embody it as if A is for as if you already have it. So let's talk about what you already have so we can code that. You already have a nose on your face, correct? I take it you, you have ears, correct? I take it you have two hands, correct? If you have all of these things, it's not a case of that as if you have already got. What about just in the same way as you've got ears, you've got eyes, you've got hands, you've got feet, you have this new creation. Now, the T in it, which is the fifth part of the CREATE acronym, is the time that you are going to commence your project. So let's say you are actually wanting to become this world-class leader, coach, healer, or maybe it is that you want to set up your own retreat yourself, or maybe it is that it is going to be a new a new career path altogether, or it might be a relationship, or it might be, I mean, you can say money, but the fact with money is that you have to be able to have the deliverable of what you're serving that's going to open up that money container for you. So the time of commencement is where quantum leaping means taking massive, aligned, messy action. Yes, you heard me say that. My mentor has a philosophy and a very strong belief system that is that messy makes millions. Now, here's something very interesting. Did you know that a perfectionist is actually someone who is going to be further away from their goal than anybody else that is an activist that believes in taking action. That's why you have to decide when you're the time. The T in the create is the time that you are taking massive aligned action. And if I told you that this does not require a process, a long, arduous list of all the steps because the steps and the arduous process is the opposite to a quantum leap. You see, when Melissa came to me, let's just take three people in the last week, Melissa, Sharon, and I'll call him Nelly, okay, but it is a male, but I'm not going to say his actual real name. I have permission from the other two. So these three people I've worked with in the last week, did they sit down and ask me, Terry, can you please tell me every single step you're going to take that's going to dissolve, clear and release my trauma? Because I've got a lot of stuff. I've got a lot of shame. I've got a lot of guilt. I've got a lot of stuff that's hanging around that's showing up and really impacting my life. And it's causing my family to dysfunction. It's causing my money to be at a standstill. It is creating a whole load of havoc. This is what I have been helping people with in the last week. Did any one of those three people, and I can guarantee two of you will be watching this, and that is, did you ask me the question, oh, what's the first step you're going to do, followed by the second, followed by the third, by the fourth? If that was the question they asked, number one, they're lacking in faith. Number two, 
they're creating a maze. And number three, they are slowing the process down. Now, why am I telling you this? Because it's time for you to take massive aligned, messy, messy action, you guys. Who is hearing me? Let me know if you're hearing me. Let me know if you are excited. All right. So we've got several groups here and we've got a lot more people on the other group watching, surprisingly enough. I would have thought it would have been the group that I've got on here, um, but that's okay because it's going to land in your hands if it's supposed to. So now you understand what is it that you're going to create? What is it that you are truly going to ensure that you are going to take messy, massive aligned action. And the last piece is the E, and the E stands for ecology. Is it safe for you? Is it actually a safe element for you to have this goal? Is it going to be environmentally friendly? And if it is true that it's going to be safe and environmentally friendly, and if you have happened to have had the opportunity to write down what I've said with the create so that you know your goal, you know what the re new reality is going to be and how that new reality is going to be different from the one you've been in, that you are going to have an end time of where you can actually go, whoa, and celebrate. I've achieved it. I've got it. I've done it. And you're going to be in the as if. You're going to be in the feeling. You are going to be very, very, very dedicated to have faith and act with massive, messy, aligned action to know that when you say, this is when I'm starting this, you will start it and you will make a promise on the, especially if you are following me and you are really, really believing in the work that I do. And even if you may not believe in it yet, but you want to see if this is going to work. You just have to start it no matter what. It's been my secret to every single thing that I've done in my life that has really been so incredibly successful, it's been because I just did it. Now, guys, I am going to begin the process once we know you have a strong ecology system. So it's time now to close your eyes down shut. And as you close your eyes down shut, I want you to imagine that you have got a huge screen in front of you. And with this huge screen in front of you, I want you to imagine it's you. And you may be able to hear drums. And that is the music of the frequency that is going to make this even more powerful. So now, as you see yourself on this big screen, I want you to notice your environment. Where are you? I want you to notice that you feel so incredibly like you are coming to life and every part of you is awakened with this most joyful, peaceful and most incredible and powerful feeling. I want you to also see that wherever you are, you are in your sweet space. What does that look like? What does your body look like and how do you stand when you are feeling so free, so liberated? I want you to see yourself like you're creating a nirvana on this screen. The nirvana is the space where you 
are activating your wealth codes. You are activating your empowerment, your confidence. You are completely lit up. And somehow in this incredible scene on the movie screen, you are creating the environment and the new reality. And I want you to notice that that new reality is so different, isn't it? I want you to notice all the things about you that are better. I want you to notice how you are a great steward of the very essence of what you're calling in, your service, your money, your relationships, your health, your body. I want you to notice that you understand that you activated and took a leap of faith just as if you can remember a moment even when you were a child where you decided you were just going to do something and you did something that was that little bit daring. You know that feeling that you have when you feel nervous and excited all at once. And now I want you to imagine that there is a big golden vibrational light of love that is cascading down, down on the crown of your head where you are situated now. And as it now moves and rotates through the crown of your head, Notice it's moving down and it is now awakening your third eye. And I want you to imagine your third eye is becoming expanded, feeling the space in your mind's eye and just feeling that third eye open up as if the vision is coming from universal intelligence Take a deep breath in through your nose if you accept and hold that at the top. And now I want you to release any doubt, any negativity and any old stories that were holding you back. And as that golden light opens up the crown of your head and the third eye, I want you to make your thumb and your index finger on both hands come together and I want you to squeeze it. I want you to squeeze it as if you are exhilarating light, as if you are exhilarating love, as if you are exhilarating faith. And now it's moving down through to your throat chakra. And as it moves down through your throat, I want you to experience the golden light in your throat area circulating and breathe in through your nose, breathe in. And as you breathe in, I want you to breathe out and let go of any negative karma, old energy, any old stories and release it out. And now I want you to allow your throat chakra to be filled with golden light, opening up your voice box, opening up and activating your voice. And as your voice box is being activated with this golden light, I want it to move down through your central chest where the solar plexus are and allow the golden light of the heart chakra to expand your heart, allowing love to come in and breathe that in through your nose. Holding it at the top, holding it, and now releasing anything that's holding your heart back, releasing resentment, releasing anything that you have to forgive and out, breathe out. 
And as this golden light moves its way through, I want you to feel your heart expanding, going deeper and deeper. That's right. I want you to join your index fingers on your left and right with your thumb. And I want you to amplify, amplify the feeling of love amplify the feeling that is opening up your heart chakra and now relax as the golden light now moves down deeper and deeper into the space of your stomach where your intuition is manifested, where your gut brain is activated and I want you to feel the golden light circling through that space of your gut. And as it circulates, I want you to now breathe in through your nose, breathe in, hold it at the top and anything that you have been held back, that you have lacked trust, faith and had self-doubt, uncertainty, breathe it out and let it go. And now as your as your whole intuition is being amplified in your gut space, just feel that circulating. Now it's rotating. And now if you're a woman, it's rotating through your womb even if you don't have a womb that's okay because you were born from your mother's womb i want you to feel the codes of wealth activating if you are a man i want you to focus on your sexual organs around your pelvis and down through below and ladies just allow that womb space to open allow that space to generate light allow that light to come through and as you do i want you to breathe in through your nose one two three breathe in and now any female masculine feminine wounds we release and let go breathe out we let go of any soul contracts that have held you back we let go of the ancestral generations of the wombs that go before you and now as you are in this space of feeling your body lit up with light I want you to notice that you have activated your sacral root chakra. You have activated your intuition center. You have activated your heart to expand. You have activated your throat to open up and activate your voice. You have also awakened your consciousness, expanding your third eye and the crown chakra now as it brings in new light I want you to take one last deep breath for this sequence breathing in and as you now switch on amplify every chakra and release any negatives that you've held back now let it go let it go And now as you relax, I want you to turn your pupils up towards your eyebrows while your eyes are closed down shut. I want you to imagine that you are now doing a circle with your eyes. Make a big circle with your eyes closed. Now as you make that circle, I want you to circulate it back the other way. Circulating that, circulating that, circulating that and allowing that beautiful circulation to come through your eyes. And now I want you to look right up again and then look down and then look right up again and look down. Now I want you to keep your eyes closed and look to your right ear. Now look to your left ear. Look to your right ear. 
look to your left ear and now come back to center and now i want you to see the screen in front of you i want you to notice that everything's amplified i want you to notice that you've switched on your third eye i want you to see where you are your environment your new reality what does that look like where are you? Are you in tropical paradise? Are you in a majestic palace? Are you in a restaurant? Are you in a space that brings you to life in nature? I want you to understand what is your new reality? Because even though you see yourself in this big screen, I want you to press your index finger and your thumb. And as you press that, you are amplifying and anchoring everything in. And as you see yourself in this abundant place and space of your own sweet nirvana, I want you to have a sense of your new reality, what has changed, what you've mastered. I want you to see it and know it, that it is true. And you are being that person. And what has it done for your life? Do you receive more reverence, respect, more love, more connection, more money? What are you able to be and do that you weren't doing before? Notice that you have also the codes of conduct of taking massive aligned messy action. And as a result, you have transpired bringing all this into reality. Notice that you are in this movie and you've already created everything. It is done. The way your career is, it is done. The way your body is, it is done. The way that your relationships are, it is done. The way your legacy and your zone of genius of operating in your soul purpose, it is done. So where are you when all this is done? And what if I could now move you as you squeeze your finger and your thumb and you float into that movie knowing that it is done? It's like you have been crowned. You are in a new reality. You are in a new reality with a new personality. You have released, dissolved, cleared and let go. I want you to make a statement. I am a genius and I apply my wisdom. I take massive, aligned, messy action. I love the blessing of money and the blessing of money loves me. I am a good steward of my body. I am a good steward of my relationships. I am living and breathing my excellence. I feel so free. I am liberated. I am living my soul purpose. I am living my legacy life. What does that look like? Now let's experience it as if you are there, floating up into the screen. Be inside that world. Be inside that space. Now amplify it by anchoring the feelings in your thumb and your finger and know that this is going to be your power anchor. This is going to always be your resource to fire off this memory to quantum leap here. And in this quantum space, I want you to just have a moment of silence to know what you've achieved. And as you go into that moment of silence, I just want you to let my words wash over you. You are free. You are rich. You have the body. 
of billion dollar energy. You have risen in your level of relationships. Go ahead and know what this new reality is as you are inside this environment. You are free. You are living your legacy life. You are calling in all the right people. You have faith that has moved mountains. And as you allow these words to just wash all the way through you, through every cell of your body, I want you to experience this moment and we're going to bring you back from this moment on the big screen. And as you do, I want you to come back to the time you began. You made a decision. You took a massive aligned action. And now as you come back, merging, integrating back into your personal reality, it's time to come back into your physical body. Now, before you open your eyes, I want you to make one declaration. The declaration is this, that you have created a new reality. And in doing so, this is going to entail you to take massive aligned action. Massive aligned messy action. It's going to entail you to take a leap of faith, to do something that you've never done before. And in all of this, maybe you've already taken a leap of faith and you're already on that journey. I want you to dedicate to yourself in your mind's eye when that begins. And it's not like it's a tomorrow just because tomorrow never comes. But it's a dedication and a solemn promise you make to yourself. And finally, if this is ecological for you, your loved ones, it is safe and universal intelligence permits this on the grounds that you are opening up to a new level, I want you to press to authorize this into your fingers activating the index and the thumb and then come back and open your eyes <sighs> well that is our practice of our create quantum vision new moon meditation now, maybe this is something because this, when I put it into the portal for, for my community, what it means for them is that they are always going through to the next level. They are breaking through and going through to the next level. They are breaking through and they're going through to the next level. So they will always have this in their portal. So it's not just a one of where you listen to it today and it was relevant for what is happening to your world today. Your new now will mean that this will be your, your absolute resource for life, for every area of your life you want to shift, for every area that you want to move. And that is the reason why I don't just transform people, but I impart the gift. And my gift of impartation has me on a retreat where I've manifested this and on a space where my guides have now informed me this is the place in the space where I am going to be doing transformation. This is where I'm going to be transforming lives. This is where I am going to be leading coaches, healers and leaders to become epic world-class in what they do so they can impact their family, their communities, so that teachers, if they're teachers, can be more influential. This is going to be the element that I didn't choose, but I wanted it. 
deep down inside, just like I just did with you, that creation, I had the codes. I knew the codes, the feelings. I knew I needed to shift shame. I needed to, to shift guilt. I needed to shift betrayal. I needed to shift the element of not feeling worthy enough so that I could open myself up and then universal intelligence hit me between the eyes and told me this is the the place in the space and there is so much more I just I'm not going to go on about it right here and now but if you maybe you're not on the retreat for June but maybe you want a celebrity where you choose the date you pick the time and you you actually learn the level of what I can give to you in one sitting in the most transformative way possible. And yes, I can consult you online and I do programs online, but I want to tell you this is where my guides have brought me. This is the creation that I may not have mapped out perfectly ever, but I did enough of what I just showed you to have given myself the codes that connected with universe and universe brought me in and said, Terry, this is where we're placing you. So if you feel called, let me know. And I just want to thank you. And I'm going to go and join the Oga Oga now. I think it's Oga 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 Oga. I can't remember which one, but it's going to come out on the street. Everything's at your fingertips here. So I am going to simply go out on the street. I'm going to share it on my stories. Um, I'm not sure when you'll be seeing this, but I want you to know what you've just learned is so powerful. For those in the portal, you'll get the script as well. So you'll know exactly how to lead other people through it. I'm sending you so much love from Bali, Indonesia. And just like that, at the speed of light, we have just complete our new moon meditation. See you later. See you guys. Thank you for joining us on another empowering episode of our show where we have explored through this various topic along with all the exciting new topics that we bring every week to enhance your personal mastery of excellence. Now, I'd love you to do me a favour. In fact, be part of the Legacy One Million that I have in the vision for 2028. If you know someone who really would benefit from this recording, from this episode, please share, share it with them. And when you subscribe, you get notified every week of our episode as soon as it drops. So let's do that legacy thing. Let's share, let's care, let's enrich. And I look forward to bringing you another week of the most enriching content. So until next time, stay inspired, stay awesome, and keep on mastering your excellence.